doing a fuel filter in a Kia Rio. So the location of the fuel filter is here. This is a diesel 2007 model. So I have something stripped already. What you want to do is start by disconnecting the battery and uh, taking the air box out. So this is the top of the box here. And then there will be three bolts. One there, one there, and then one behind the plugs. You'll have to disconnect the ECU, which is here. And these are the pins. So the front one, pull it out this way and pull it up. And then the one that's closest to the passenger side is this style clip. You pull that back and then pull it up. So the air box will be clear to come out now and then I'll uh, show you in the next clip how to disconnect the pipes. So I have the air box disconnected now. Reason why you take the air box out is to allow more room to gain access to the fuel pipes at the bottom. There is a fuel fuel line down there that needs to be disconnected as well and there is another one which is harder to see but it's right in there at the back as well so there's two fuel lines that need to be disconnected so all I'll do is I'll loosen off these sling that over and then that'll allow more access to disconnect them clips Okay, so the fuel lines to disconnect them, I am using this tool, but it can be done with two screwdrivers on either side to press them in. This down here is a cover, and then you want to go and press the clip on the top, and there's also one complete opposite side and they need to be pressed in at the same time while keeping some tension out. These top ones here are all 12 millimeter nuts and then there's three that you need to disconnect of those so that's a push down clip that one is also a push down clip and this one sits in and it's underneath so you pull pull down on that and then pull back and you'll get them electrical plugs off that way so if I just pull this over the other side I've already gone ahead and disconnected the fuel line on this side as you can see it's disconnected sorry it's disconnected there and down below is uh, where it was connected to. So like I said, let me get some light here for you. Push on either side of those and that releases that clip. The inner one is always more, more difficult. Once you have that out, we can bring this over to the vise and take out the fuel filter, put in the new filter fuel filter and then put it all back together again. I have the fuel filter out now and what you want to do when you get it out in the bench is disconnect these. So you'll have that plug there and they're just a slide in. So you simply push them down and away and it frees that out and then there'll be another one coming from the bottom up there. And again, you slide away from it and pull back. So when you have them disconnected, that leaves you with just these two, which are a simple pull out and the fuel filter. will come out of the casing and that leaves it very easy access. I'll put that in the vise now and remove the fuel filter, turn it anti-clockwise and disconnect 
this bottom piece as well and I'll uh, stick it all back together after that. So anti-clockwise and disconnect this plug. Now there is two different types of fuel filters in most of these. The difference is in the bottom and the size hole that's down there. And I'm just using this strap to uh, remove it. So the new filter is in place. I'm just popping it back down again. Electrical connections fitted back into their holder. Just to put that one back in in a minute. And uh, connect up the fuel pipes and then reverse order and fit everything back together. Uh, one tip, make sure you fill the fuel filter um, up to three quarters or near full with diesel. It helps it, I know there's a primer here but if there's any issues with primers, it can be very hard to start if the fuel filter is empty. Fuel filter is back in place. All the 12mm bolts are back in. Electrical connections hooked up. Now fitting down the air box, putting down them 10 mils. Remember there was three of those and this one needs to be done before the ECU is hooked back up again. And then it's simply put the air filter into it, connect back up the piping which is a 10 mil there and start the car and job is complete. Thanks for watching and I will uh, see you in the next video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.